hi guys welcome back to my channel this video is long overdue I'm sorry I apologize however my life is really busy a lot of y'all know so this video is going to be a review and swatches of the Lena lashes baby matte lipsticks um, these lipsticks were sent to me and I was supposed to film them a long time ago like I said so I'm just gonna get into the swatches but let's just talk about what um, the baby mats are about so it says baby mats a lot of people when I posted the swatches on my gram on the Instagram were kind of upset because it didn't dry matte but if you read the description on their website it lists everything that you need to know so these lipsticks will transfer okay it is not kiss proof it'll transfer it doesn't dry matte it's just supposed to be comfortable and it's supposed to be long wearing uncomfortable and better than they are um, more than matte because we know that those ones are really really drying this formula is supposed to be long wearing comfortable and yet not matte hopefully that makes sense so they sent me the entire line and I will be swatching everything um, let me know if you guys have these but what I'll say is that when I first got the first batch of liquid lipsticks it had a strong smell to it but it was like a strong fragrancy smell however the second batch smells really, really like this it's like a potent smell that smells like chemicals like it's a really really strong chemical smell I haven't tried them on my lips yet um, a lot of them have their names on the bottom like this is Wednesday so the packaging compared to the first one like they're more than matte is really really different and pretty it has their logos and they come with their names at the bottom except for one bottle I don't know what this is um, the um, the amount in the bottle I'll put everything right here so you can know the details um, the formula is moussey like when I swatched it on my arm for the for the gram it had like a soft moussey texture kind of reminded me of the um, Ofra cosmetics you know liquid lipstick collection it's kind of like that formula so it's really really comfortable when you put it on and the wand is different it's kind of is very flexible so you can control what you're applying and you can be precise you know what I mean precision with liquid lipsticks is a must truly honestly so this is fame now fame is one of those colors that has a strong fragrance smell but it's really really strong let me see I think this is from the second batch so let's see what is if I can describe the smell yeah this is really really strong it's like it's just a strong chemical smell um, a lot of you guys have been letting me know that you have these and they smell like chemicals so I would say that yes they do but some liquid lipstick smell like that but this is just really really strong so let me shut up and go into swatches I will be swatching all these colors um, and I will talk to you guys at the end of the video bye guys
so this is the end of the swatches I know it went by really quickly but because I didn't have to wait for them to dry down matte it made this video move quick however this is slage and it's probably the maddest of the bunch I'll do a kiss test as you can see it's gonna transfer so pros and cons pros and cons pros and cons pros is very affordable I like the packaging and I noticed that the applicators are different which each like there's th three or two different kinds of um, applicators that's fine no big deal pros is affordable I love the the formula I, I really like the moussey texture and I like that it doesn't suck the life out of your lips and it doesn't dry like crack your lips dry it's really really comfortable um, slayage is this color and this is the one that I've worn the longest just so I can test it out and it's really really comfortable when I drank my water you can see it on the rim of my glass so it's not again gonna suck out the light of your lips life out of your lips so cons the only thing that I can say is the smell I really don't like the smell that some of them have but it's really not a biggie because once you apply it you don't smell it anymore and then another thing is the neon colors y'all y'all saw in the swatches that fame and that other color that I don't know the name but I put the name right here those two can never be worn by itself honestly you can never wear it by itself because you're going to be looking a hot mess. So I would either need to use it as an ombre, you know, in a mixture of a color or use a lip liner. So some of the neon colors I didn't really like because I felt like, you know, it's just not my type of thing. You guys know that I gravitate towards like dark, like these kind of colors, maybe some nudes, some pinks here and there. But those neon colors, not my cup of tea. Some people might like it, but I would wear it with like Night Moth or a dark, uh, liquid lipstick like I said and then use that on the inside it'll probably look divine I'm still working on doing my ombres so I'm probably gonna use them for ombres so it's not really so much of a con because I just don't like colors like that so will I recommend this absolutely hopefully you guys found this video very helpful and I will see you guys in my next video which I'm gonna be filming right now I'm just gonna wipe this off and get to work because this is the only time that I have to film so I'm gonna film a lot of videos today so thank you guys so much for watching and shout out to my new subbies and hey to my snapchat fam if you're from snapchat let me know in the comment section and I'll see y'all in my next video bye guys